Dit programma wordt mede mogelijk gemaakt door het International Film Festival Rotterdam. Welkom bij Big Talk. De hele week is Rotterdam al in de ban van het International Film Festival. Vanavond spreekt Hans Maarten van der Brink met de Duitse regisseur Christian Petzold over zijn oorlogstriller Phoenix. Een spannend psychologisch en historisch drama over een vrouw die het concentratiekamp overleefde en in Berlijn op zoek gaat naar haar man. Heeft hij haar verraden of niet? Ik kan niet naar Palestina. Ik ben geen Jude. Toch, dat bist du, of du willst oder niet. Die wollten dich umbringen, weil du eine Jüdin bist. Ich suche Johnny. Er arbeitet hier. Where are the girls? Huh? Something is missing. Wir können Geld verdienen, viel Geld. Sie sehen jemanden sehr ähnlich. Wem? Meiner Frau. Vielleicht lebt sie ja noch. Sie ist tot. Wir wollen Nelly sehen und keine zerstörte Lage insassen. Daran arbeiten wir hier. Du warst bei ihm. Ja. Sie sind hier gewesen an dem Tag, als Nelly verhaftet wurde. Wer sagt das? Das ist dann meine Wiederkehr. Und dann will er gleich an den Geld. Lene, ich weiß, dass er sie liebt. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Rotterdam, Mr. Petzold. It's your second time. And the first time you just told me was 12 years ago for 85 people. Yeah, I, oh. re I, fact, I remember uh, they changed the voucher in Sripol. There was an experimental filmmaker besides me, and he uh, received my voucher for the Sheraton Hotel, or yeah. Hilton Hotel. And I have a hotel 10 kilometers outside of Rotterdam. Mm -hmm. And you don't consider yourself an experimental no, filmmaker who needs it's a, was not a room that. outside of um, Rotterdam? No, it's, I think it's, it's Rotterdam behavior. <laughs> I, I just want to, have a, have I just want to say yeah. you, 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 um, you uh, multiplied uh, with a factor 10. Your audience. Ah, that's, that's, that's right. It makes me very nervous. I'm a stage frighter yeah, since, okay. and since eight years. And, and you told me your English is not, is <laughs> not perfect. My, Engl my English is poor. Which is Uh -huh. Which is an absolute lie, but we agreed that um, yeah. Yeah. But if it gets too difficult, you will speak German and I will translate. I had neat teachers like you. In in you don't know about my <laughs> teachers. <Scott. laughs> Let's forget that. Um, we will not give away the story, of course. Um, uh, spoilers. Um, mm -hmm. But talk about the theme and how, it came, how the yeah. film came into being. Um, so let's begin at the beginning. If you, you have quite a considerable, considerable oeuvre already of, of uh, feature films. Does it generally begin with a story that you want to make into a film, mm -hmm. or is there an idea for which you are looking for well, a story? Uh, sometimes it's not And what was it in this case? Let's be concrete. In this case, it's, it's the first time I, there was a novel. I never used novels. I, I hate to make uh, films out of literature. There's a sentence by Hitchcock, you can only uh, make a film out from bad literature. From bad yeah, that's, literature. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And uh, it was not so bad, this uh, novel, and therefore it cost me a little bit work to make it bad. And uh, um, mostly there are little scenes. Yeah? Um, um, I saw once in a, in a hospital, I saw a young woman, and she's in front of a coffee machine. And she take uh, she threw in two euros or so, and then the coffee is coming. Like, uh, this Duve Egberts machines, you know it. Dauer Dauer Egberts. Dauer Egberts. Dauer Egberts. Yeah, Egberts yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're they're all in the world. The versus coffee. Yeah, ever ever uh, ever. Yeah. It's, it's brown water. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and uh, the they're, they're not a sponsor, are they? No, no, no <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and then the coffee is coming, and the woman is going 10 meters to a window, and starts something to do and goes away from the window and you see on the window you see that she has been uh, crying yeah? and that is how a, a film yeah. with you might start with just a picture and you don't know yeah. what it means and she goes away and the and the coffee yeah the coffee machine from dower experts make bad noises ow ow yeah the coffee is ready your coffee is ready uh, fresh brewed and uh, but she ignore it and goes away and another guy takes this coffee yeah and <laughs> And she starts to drink, and she comes back, and, and, and her eyes are f filled up with tears, and she, she said to the guy, that's my coffee. 
And this scene I like very much. And the guy there. says, we have to stop meeting this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, th this was the beginning of Wolfsburg, for example. Yeah, okay. Happening, yeah. But in this case, there was, so, so that was how you mm. begin to develop a story, if you write a scenario, mm -hmm. probably. Mm -hmm. But in this case, there was already a, a full-fledged story, a novel. What attracted you in it? Yes, without spoiling. <laughs> without spoiling. Well, Shit. We, can, uh, we can give away because it's yeah. in the catalogue and publicity. Yeah, yeah. It is about somebody yeah. who has her face changed and comes from yeah. the it's concentration a, camp. Yeah, um, there's a, I think it's something to do with all these stories I've re uh, read by Jean Amari or Hannah Arendt. They come back to Germany after, after the Holocaust and nobody wants to see them. Nobody wants to hear their their stories, nobody wants, uh, wants to see them in, in, at, uh, um, with all their wounds and all their traumatic things. They are they're ignoring uh, their history in Germany. They tr make, make fantastic films only with mountains and fresh people and no problems and so, and they don't want to talk with them. And um, when I read this story, I've uh, I read a story about a survivor who wants to recreate itself or with the help of her husband, and this I like very much. Yeah? So I have a laboratorium, and you see in the movie later there's a basement like a laboratorium of Dr. Frankenstein, yeah? Yeah. but uh, but it's not a Frankenstein, it's a, it's a man who wants to create a woman. Yeah? And uh, this this is for me something to do with cinema, laboratorium, mad scientists, yeah? and, and men create women. And um, after 26 days of shooting, Nina Hoss said to me, what this guy is doing Nina to Hoss me is, Nina Hoss is the, the, the main, main character, main yeah. character, the woman. Yeah, the, what uh, what this guy Johnny is doing with me in this basement is the same that you will you as a director do to me. Yeah, and therefore I have to think about. Yeah. I was thinking it, it is about faces and about reconstructing faces, mm -hmm. and that you can uh, uh, there's dialogue in the film that says, "Hey, but it's great to have a new face uh, because you can lead a new life, maybe." Um, but then it shows that you can have a new face, but, but what's underneath the life that's underneath doesn't yeah. change. So yeah. it's also a, a, a metaphor for, for... It's a metaphor, it's of something... Uh, it's it's both literal and a metaphor. That's right. A face is your, you know, passports, face. You go to America, they want to see your face, they make photos of your face. The face is your identity. That's the yeah. English word interface. Interface, that's yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. Interface. Yeah. My, my son is a gamer. He al always used interface. Yeah? Now you know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, interface. Yeah. And, um, and so the, the, the face is your identity, but her face is plastic surgery. Yeah? It's rebuilt. And it's not her face. It's in very interesting that we have no mirrors. Uh, uh, the, the, the actors have fear for the mirrors like Nosferatu or Dracula. They have no face. You know, Dracula. You can't, he can't see his face mm -hmm. in the mirror. Nosferatu is the same. And, uh, Are you talking about the, your actors or the characters in the film? It's mixed. <laughs> no, oh. no, 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 it's uh, uh, with the characters, not yeah. the actors. Yeah. And uh, so this is a movie, which it's always in the night. Yeah? You, you, you can see that um, Nelly, the Nina Hoss, the main actress, she's, her journeys are in the night like, like a vampire, mm -hmm. yeah? L like someone who is half dead, half Half not dead. My huh? English has got yes. It's very good. It's very good so far. And high marks. This is not very good. I know. Yeah. I, have, I, have, I, have, I have a friend in Berlin, Christoph. Yeah? And uh, three days before I go to Rotterdam, I talk with him ten minutes English to, uh, to, to improve. Practice. Hmm? To practice. Yeah. And said, how, how I was very proud because it's better getting better every day, I think. And he said, it's terrible. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's what yeah. friends are for. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me get back to the story <laughs> and about the, the theme of the film. It's quite an interesting week to show it now, uh, uh, this movie, yeah? where we, 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 um, we remember 70 years of the liberation yeah. of, of Auschwitz. Um, I think you once said that you were not interested in making films about the German past. Yes, well, that's um, right. What happened? There was a car accident. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no I was... I, uh, we are in Germany, we are surrounded by pictures of the Third Reich in Roll. Yeah? Uh, this, Hitler is the entertainer, our Elvis Presley, and all the actors 
in Germany, they want to play uh, SS people, for example. Yeah? They like it with a new haircut and, blah, 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 yeah? and so with uniforms and so on. And I, I, this I is a third generation thing, I think, yeah. not a first generation. No, no, I think no, no, so. No, okay. yeah, they like it because it's very easy to play a bad mm -hmm. guy. With, uh, also, the American guys, they like to play it yeah? mm -hmm. it's because we have yeah. a cliché of, of Nazis, and I can't stand that. And, I'm, and I start with this movie... And a famous uh, uh, Dutch uh, um, uh, writer once said, wrote, let's be honest, they had the best uniforms. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't... Yeah, it could yeah. be, yeah. It so it's, be. A, it's, you know, a, it's you know a cliche, and that's yeah. why you didn't want to make a, a film concerning yeah. World War You know, War the II. uniforms are made by Boss. Hugo Boss, yeah. Hugo Boss, yeah. yeah. And the... The okay, we've uh, got Douwe Egberts now, we've got Hugo Boss. Yes, we yeah. have to yeah. be a bit careful here. Yeah, and, and the, the coats in the, in the concentration camps by Neckermann, Josef Neckermann. Yeah? <laughs> so just... Yeah? Anybody book a holiday? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We have to stay on the course, Christian. Yeah, but uh, I, I want to... That's why why didn't you want to make... A, a yeah. Because you thought everybody's doing it, it's a cliché. Yeah. What changed in your no, head, mind? Be, be, uh, as it's the same like in Barbara. In Barbara, I don't want to show any portrait of Erich Honecker. Yeah? Barbara is a, a previous film that plays in the former uh, uh, German, German Democratic Republic. That's right. Before the fall yeah. of the wall. And I don't want to make a, a movie with Hakenkreuz and SS. Mm -hmm. I want to, because we haven't got films about survivors in Germany and about the time after the Second World War. We are not interested in this kind of movies. We are more interested in the entertainment of the fascists. Yeah? And mm -hmm. this, this I don't like. I, d I never want to... I, I can't uh, make films with fascists, I'm really sure. I can't stand that. Huh? Um, I don't know how, how to uh, discuss with the actor. I don't know what, what I can tell him. Huh? I don't know. And uh, on the other... Uh, or, or comedy, this is possible, mm -hmm. like Lubitsch or so. This is great, huh? but, but not, uh, not a real movie, huh? a, a real tragedy or something but like that. But the way you were telling it, it is that there is, there is a reason for... Mm -hmm. At first, not wanting to make it too much has been done. But the way you're telling it now, it is part of another big theme in, in, in German art, uh, literature, films, and, um, and society, which they call Vergangenheitsbewältigung. Uh, we yeah. have to come to terms with the past. Mm -hmm. Was that a conscious idea, not only telling a story, but yes, I want to be a part of that discussion. How we, do we deal with our history in society? I know this German word Vergangenheitsbewältigung means you make one movie and then the history is gone. Yeah? No, yeah. it's a process. You make <laughs> yeah, but you're not in Germany. Yeah? Okay, that's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, and uh, we have so many pedagogical movies in Germany, mm -hmm. yeah, where you can see one good German, yeah, and, and, mm -hmm. yeah or two good Germans, yeah? and um, so, and and so we, we as, as a pupil or a student, we have to see many of those films. But the most most important movie was Night and uh, uh, Nacht und Nebel, mm -hmm. Nuit et Brouillard, yeah. by Alain René. And this was not a pedagogical movie. In this, it's, it was it's, a documentary. It's a documentary. And this kind of movies we haven't got in Germany. Yeah? And when 1958, this movie was in Cannes, yeah? Nuit et Brouillard by Alain René was in Cannes. Uh, the Germans said, we, we are leaving the uh, festival if the movie is screened, yeah? 1958. Yeah? And it costs three more years before Fritz Bauer, the, the, the lawyer, the film is dedicated to, you will see in, in no, seven minutes. No, I, I keep watching. <laughs> the, the big time. talk, the big talk, you keep watching. Mm -hmm. I was so afraid about the word big talk, about 850 people, and I'm sitting in front on a stage, and this, this was too much. I try to have a power nap in the hotel. I've got to, uh, can't, can't you know what? I'll help you yeah. by, by reading my next question because you just <laughs> you just brought up uh, Alain René uh, and a, a film that made a worldwide impression. Still yeah. is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I even wrote here. This is probably a stupid question, but I'm going to ask it now, and we get to the process of filmmaking. Wouldn't you wanted to have made the film in black and white? No. Why not? When, uh, I can say when you. There was, uh, you, there was you, one. You, you get the custom. If yeah. you see yeah. uh, René or yeah. Rossellini, uh, uh, German, uh, yeah. Deutschland Stunde Null, it's all, you get the, 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 the seedy atmosphere, everything it's is in ruins, and right. color is, all, is already a bit more luxurious. Yeah, but the, no, the German invented a color, a color uh, um, material by Agfa, it's a little bit like Technicolor, mm -hmm. the same system. And, and during our research, we, see, we have seen so many color 
uh, uh, films of Berlin 1945. And there's one thing I was very, very impressed by. This is a 45 second film you can see on YouTube. It's, uh, it, uh, it's uh, the theme, uh, not the sub, not the subject, the title. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, the title is uh, German Girl 45. Uh, it's a raped girl, six, 16, 17 years old on the street. And uh, she's running uh, on, onto the cameraman. I think it's Sam Fuller. Uh, and uh, she's, you, you see she's to totally traumatic. And uh, I think Sam, Sam Fuller's given her a um, uh, card, uh, here, deck of cards, yeah? deck of cards, yeah? For, mm -hmm. because he has nothing more here. Yeah. It's color, and you see a deep red, a fantastic green, yeah? and you know that they're working with a with a um, with a color material. Yeah? And um, so I think we had uh, black and white makes it nostalgic, makes it history. Yeah? Suggest and authenticity. Yeah. yeah. For suggest Vergangenheitsbewältigung. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That Fantastic German words when you hear it, when you're speaking English for 16 minutes now. Um, then, then I'm uh, going and, to and confiscate your watch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. uh, and then you hear German words. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Vergangenheitsbewältigung. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like. I like. I, this. I did prepare. Yeah. yeah. It's a good. It's a good word. Like, all all words in German who have more than who are um, connected by three words, yeah? Yeah. All, all bad. Yeah? Zylinderkopfdichtung. Yeah? Mm -hmm. it's a, when you hear that word, it costs you 3,000 euros because, because your car is broken. Mm -hmm. yeah? Okay, G getting back to the film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's, been fr and, and it's, I must say, it, it, it's, for me it's hard to, to, to speak before the movie. You make it I fantastic, yeah? but for me it's... So uh, let's yeah. speak about the actors who are... Who, who are well versed in cliches about uh, about yeah. Nazism, um, and maybe even about uh, how do they bewelt uh, wie bewältigen die <laughs> ihre Rolle? Yeah. I think you have a, a special way of preparing yeah. them, yes. not method acting, get the feeling mm -hmm. uh, from inside, but listening to music and reading. Yeah, that's right. Why is that, and how does it work? I must say, during the interviews this morning, I, sometimes it's so you have five, six interviews, and then you. You, you know something more you have forgotten. You remember something you have forgotten. I, and I've forgotten very... It's new to them. It's uh, new, new to me too uh, yeah. uh, uh, this morning. Uh, um, it was so... Uh, Nina Hoss, for example, the actress yeah, who's playing the, the mm -hmm. main part, she is, uh, she, she's, um, she is method acting. But, but for herself, she's working very hard. She has a coach for, for a body... Uh, uh, from, uh, my God. Who has it then? Diets. Yeah. Diet eating. coach. Eating, yeah. eating coach, yeah. So for three or four months, huh, mm -hmm. she, she's looking to, to films for, 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 uh, for, for learning to walk uh, uh, like, like 45. Yeah? And uh, also, Ronald Seerfeld has a coach. To, to, yeah? And they are working very nat naturalized to there. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah? but, the, but, the but then you add something, which is yeah. books and music. Yeah. And which then, books, which, which yeah, music? That's right. And then one week before we start shooting, we have a rehearsal week. And we, have, we are looking, we, we have five or six movies. We, are in a, we went to a cinema. The first movie was by Jacques Demy. Uh, Les Mademoiselles de Rochefort, it's a musical with Catherine Deneuve and Françoise d'Orléac, her sister who died one year later, and uh, Michel Piccoli and Gene Kelly, yeah? and it's one of my favorite movies. Yeah? And uh, uh, in this movie, you can feel the Algier War, yeah? Yeah. you can feel also Jacques Demy's Jewish uh, uh, identity. Yeah? You can feel it, but it's not in the movie. It's not. It's, it's a little bit. Or in not the in movie. the scenario. It's not in the scenario, but it's like it's it's there without pedagogical Vergangenheitsbewältigung finger. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, I I showed this movie to the actors and said, this is this kind of movie we can't we can't see in Germany in the 60s. For example, yeah, it's from mm -hmm. the 60s. This movie because we haven't haven't had. Uh, Neorealism. We, we haven't had. Uh, um, we try to bewältigen der Vergangenheit, uh, not to 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 make this to process. Live it. To live yeah. it. To look. Uh, take a camera and look. How? Who are we? The Italians. They have this neorealism. Uh, Rossellini, Visconti, Fellini. They took the cameras and said, "What kind of country are we? Yeah? What is it? This? What is? What is our country? We have fascism. We have the Duce. We have. We have. Uh, we have. Uh, um, 
the, the Republic Salo, yeah? we have bad fascists, but who are we? Yeah? So and you yeah? create all that surrounding for your actors yeah. so that they can do the scenario that doesn't have that music in it or yeah. those books yeah. uh -huh. to act better. Yeah, uh, this, uh, Nina called it a suitcase yeah? For, yeah. For, for a voyage. I, uh, there's a, she has a suitcase and she put the material. Yeah? I have the other movie was the uh, letter of an unknown woman by Max Offels, or um, we ha have literature by Alexander Kluge. A Liebesversuch was one of the best filmmaker and writer uh, from filmmaker. Munich. Yeah, from Frankfurt. So. Frankfurt, no, Frankfurt, whatever. Yeah. Munich. Yeah, but he's living in Munich. You're yeah, right. See? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Shit. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But I don't. So um, th this was the material. Yeah? When we, we are talking, we have photos. We have mood rooms made yeah. by um, the. The man who, um, what's, what's the name in English? The man who created the stages. The set dresser. Set, set, set dresser. Huh? And he made two or three rooms, mood rooms with photos and films uh, where the actors can uh, uh, go around like in a museum. And then we went for a two day voyage, yeah, the journey. Because before shooting. Before shooting, because all the, the places we have built, the cabaret club, yeah, uh, the, the, uh, the hospital, yeah, and I showed them and, uh, the, to the act actors, they have their costumes, yeah? not, not the mask, uh, but the costumes, and they can go through, the, uh, through these rooms and sit down for hours to, to have a physical uh, impression. And right? this is all before you, you actually start shooting? Before, before I actually start. Okay. Uh, and then I start shooting, and I threw away the first day of shooting completely, because <laughs> this was a bad mistake. I tried to make a Vergangenheitsbewältigungstag, uh, and I have to to destroy it. Huh? We have a motive, and I have two more questions for you. One is, um, you just mentioned it, walking. Um, mm. it, it, is, it, it, it sort of plays a role in the film, and I can't get my hands on it. Well, it is, of course, the expression, walk in somebody else's shoes, very little. Yeah. What does walking say about a, a certain time or a certain period? Walking. That's walking. Good, good, good walking. question. I think walking is something to do I missed in the German cinema in the 50s and the 60s. Yeah? So nobody's walking there. Everybody is sitting and talking. Yeah? They, the Germans are in Ita Italy and make uh, fantastic holidays. But walking is, for me, American cinema. Yeah? It's because walking is a passage. Yeah? Walking is something uh, where it's also a body expression. There's something, uh, something happened with the body. It's a monologue. Yeah? So a Apart yeah. from teaching on the whole surroundings, you had to teach and pay attention to their walking. Yeah, and, and then the shoe, yeah? the shoes you need for walking, it's like this, when you have actresses, yeah? when, when, they have, when they're coming to the costume re rehearsal, yeah? they, they, the only thing they want to see is the shoes. Yeah? But and I said, yeah, like Ismela Marcos, yeah? and uh, I, I, I said to them, uh, the shoes are never in, in the picture. You never see the shoes of, of, of the stars. I can't remember the shoes of uh, um, Romy Schneider or so. Yeah? But the, then uh, Nina told me the shoes are the walk, the walking. Not are it's, yeah, it's, it's are not almost the character yeah. and the role. Yeah. Last question. Yeah. You make films. They're, they're almost mm -hmm. always touching on political questions, questions mm -hmm. of society, but also on love, of course. Um, if you want to influence want to have an influence, shouldn't you be in television instead of cinema? Uh, because the audience is bigger? Yeah, yeah. audience is bigger, the role in but society the, the, is... The, the, well, except yeah. for this, yeah. these lovely people. Yeah. But the, the, the Short answer. That's enough. Short yeah. answer. <laughs> enough for you? <laughs> no, you want, you want more than just tell a story. Yeah, cinema, it's for me, it's a place... Uh, you, you, will, you will see that film had something to do with dreams. Yeah? Uh, mm -hmm. Phoenix or Yellow, it's also something to do yeah. with dreams. And, and I think the cinema, is, it's a place where we are physically yeah, with, the, with our body, but imagine, our imagination is far away. It's a little bit like a um, half dream, half reality. Yeah? And this uh, I have never heard in front of a TV set. So it will influence in another way. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. I think you could become quite good at this, you know. With, yeah. the, with the interview, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we'll keep on practicing. Big, not Thank big, you big for talk, your yeah. attention and have a wonderful screening. <laughs> <laughs>
De nachtfilm die u zo gaat zien heet Love Conquers All, een Maleisische film uit 2006. Een jonge vrouw komt naar Kuala Lumpur om daar te gaan werken voor haar tante. Daar voelt ze zich steeds meer aangetrokken tot John, die zich al snel ontpopt als pooier. Dit programma werd mede mogelijk gemaakt door het International Film Festival Rotterdam.